Good morning, this is Coach Brene. I'm Program Manager for the Bay City Facility and this is our Little Ninjas video lesson number 26. Good morning, martial artists. We're going to begin with our feet together set position and let's bow. Let's begin with the student creed. Repeat after me. Say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I will use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. This is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are in a quest to be our best. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to win. Good work, ninjas. That's Bob. So we're back to the back to reality a little bit, guys. I want you to start showing respect. Show respect to your parents. Show respect to your siblings. Show respect to your neighbors. But I want you to go out of your way this week to be respectful to the people you care about. Show people that you care about them. You know, go above and beyond for your fellow human being. That's what I'm looking for for my martial artists. And when we come back, I want to see you guys on your on, your, on a high note. I want to see you guys. And, and see what how you were able to, to develop and grow over the summer. And, and I'm looking forward to doing martial arts with you guys very soon. And today, we're going to begin by warming our bodies up. We're going to begin with quarter turns. Now, from our striking stance, we have one foot forward, one foot back, hands by our cheeks. Now, when I do a quarter turn, I use these a lot when I'm shadow boxing. I use these a lot when I'm sparring. It's a great tool to turn our partners to create an angle to really get, a better, get into a better spot so that we can throw an attack and get the upper hand. So, when I quarter turn, I like to pick my foot up. So, I pick my foot up and I turn and plant my heel. So my lead leg, I, I like to call this a little Michael Jackson style. Like, hee -hee. I pick my knee up, I pick my heel up, I turn my foot and I turn my body one quarter of a turn. So once again, I pick my foot up and I turn. Pick my foot up and turn. So when I shadow box, when I'm moving, I quarter turn, punch, 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 quarter turn, punch, 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 kick, but the idea is if I'm fighting multiple enemies, if I have a lot of different things going on, I can turn, I can address different threats, or I can turn and get a different angle on my opponent. So I can turn, throw an elbow, I can turn, I can throw a push kick, but I can change the game. I dictate the flow of the battle if I'm using my feet if I'm moving around, if I have my head in the right place. So have a little bit of unpredictability when you're practicing your shadow boxing. Try out different combinations when you're shadow boxing as well so you can get that familiarity. So quarter turns when we shadow box are a really awesome tool. Now moving forward, we're gonna do our three arm push-ups. So obviously I don't have three arms, so we're gonna use one of our legs to help us out. So this is a great push-up to use if you're still building that upper arm strength. So I'm going to put my hands down. I get into a normal push-up position. From here, I bring one foot up by my hands, and I can bend my elbows and push up. I try to get my chest as close as possible, but the key is I'm building my arm strength so I can bend my elbows here. So bend and push up. So three-legged push-up. Let's see how many you guys can do. So try it with one leg forward. Do as many as you can do. And then switch and do as many as you can do. I'm not so much looking for these as regular push-ups, but to really build that strength up. I want more reps, less weight, if that makes sense. So we can build up those little muscles in our arms. So moving forward. We're gonna do some stretching. So we can start on the ground here. We can do a butterfly. So putting our feet together, 
We want to scooch our feet, our heels as close to our bottom as we can, and we want to push our knees to the ground, or as much as we can in the ground, so we can stretch out our legs. So from here, we can stretch and pull up on our toes in five, four, three, two, one, and now let's go into a hurdler stretch. So if you notice, I go right from my butterfly holding my foot into the hurdler stretch. And from here, we're gonna to count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch. One, two, three, four, and five. And I also like to go to the middle. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, if you haven't noticed, we're stretching our legs because we're about to do a leg workout. So we're gonna do our squat to a round kick. So we have to get into a squat position. So this is our horse stance. We wanna have our legs almost like a power stance position here. Our toes are facing forward. I bend my knees, I bring my bottom low, and I keep my back straight. From here now, I squat low, and I kick with my round kick. Squat and then kick with the opposite leg. I want to see you guys do 10 of these in a row without stopping. So just like this, we squat, kick, almost like a sumo squat, and kick 10 in a row. Are you ready? So I'm going to say down. You're going to go down and that's one. So I'm going to say down 10 times. Are you ready? Get into your squat horse stance position. And in three, two, one, down. That's one. Ready? Three, two, one, down. That's two. Down. That's three. Down. That's four. Down. That's five. Come on. Five to go. Down. That's six. Down. That's seven. Down. That's eight. Down, that's nine. Down and 10. Very good round kicks, very good squats, guys. Doing workouts like this help us build up our strength in our legs. Doing squats is probably the, one of the best exercises that we can do. And you can see a lot of powerlifters do it a lot of the time. So they must be doing something right. So before we move on to more exercises, I do want to talk about something. Now, if you guys ever heard of the mosquito in the jar, so if you guys have ever caught a mosquito or a mosquito or a, a gnat or a, or a flea in the jar, if you will, it's all the same idea. But the idea is it's a very difficult thing to do. To catch a flea, you got to scoop it up in a bottle. Now, when you catch the flea, eventually he's going to be in that bottle jumping and jumping and jumping. Now, if you don't know this, fleas can jump a million times their, their actual height. So these itsy bitsy little things can jump super duper high. So they can jump way higher than the jar they're in. So eventually though, you put them in the jar, they're gonna hit their head on the top of the jar or the lid of the jar. So eventually those fleas are gonna jump, 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 and they're gonna keep hitting their head until they realize, hey, I don't wanna hit my head anymore. So they're gonna only jump so high and they're gonna stop really reaching their true potential. And eventually someone could even open up that jar and those fleas would only jump to the very rim of that jar because they never realize they, they, they can push through the potential. They never realize they can go through those clouds and jump right out of that jar and escape. So the idea is realize what your true potential is. Realize that your ceiling isn't really there. The sky is the limit. Don't let someone tell you you can't do something because you can. There's, if there's a will, there's a way. And as martial artists, we look through that jar and we see it's not there anymore. We're going to keep jumping. We're going to keep jumping every single time and hitting our head because we're tough. <laughs> but, but the idea is always push yourself to new heights. When, it, when you reach a ceiling, break through that ceiling like Superman. That's the idea, guys. Always, always push yourselves forward because we are moving forward, not just in belts, but as people, as human beings. So moving forward, guys, the combination I want to work on today and covering more of our counter striking and blocking as well as striking, we're going to cover cross hook. 
So say someone throws a wild hook at us, and a lot of times when people throw punches and they don't know what they're doing, they're going to throw a wild hook. And if you aren't quick enough to bob and weave like last week, you can always eat it with a cover. And I say eat it with a cover because you've got to make a, t a tight shield here with your bicep and forearm, creating a shield with your arm so you can absorb the blow, take that hook, and then bring back a cross hook. So you take the hit. Cover, cross, hook. Again, cover, cross, hook. Now let's try it from the other side. So they throw a hook from the other side. Cover with my rear side, and then I throw a hook, cross. So if you notice, I'm turning my hips with the strike. Cover, hook, cross. Engage your entire body. Cover, hook, cross. Let's try the other way now. Cover, cross, hook. So with the rotation of our bodies, that's how we can cover cross hook. It's like a dance. So if you can read that other person, if you can see what they're doing, get two steps ahead of that person. They're playing checkers, you're playing chess. You're a martial artist, a lot of times that person's not going to be. Because a martial artist is not going to pick a fight with you or anybody else because you know better. So martial artists, think about these things and realize you guys can do anything and you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. So if I don't hear from you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you.